if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes what's good to my beautiful people welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's your girl miss sis and i'm back with another video oh 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 so happy new year we have reached 2022 and i just want to quickly say because this is like my first video i'm filming in the new year happy new year i hope everyone is all well i know covid and the other whatever is just going around very viral at the moment so i hope everyone is safe and sound just also want to say thank you so much for the love and the support on my previous video it was like one of the hardest video i've ever had to film and i haven't even watched it since i posted it so i just want to say thank you for all the love plus we also hit 15k as well on this channel so hopefully god's willing guys we could just keep growing and getting stronger and better and just pray for more better healthier days amen so today i decided to sit down and do a little bit of makeup just to get in the swing of things and i did mention in my previous video i wanted to play around with the beauty bay age of opulence palette i know this came out around probably about september october time so it's a little bit old but i really want to play with it however i also want to shout out to yovola yolova <laughs> Hello, Yolo blow out Yolova hair. I'm gonna put their their name on the screen. Um, they were nice enough a good while ago to send me this unit, and girl, I think it's a perfect time for me to play with this palette because this is the unit I wear blue. Okay, <laughs> some monies. So the unit they sent out to me was a 4x4 lace wig. It was a 613 blonde body wave human hair and it's 180% density. So um, the length I got is 24 inches or 22. I can't remember, but it's either 24 or 22 inches. And it's got a beautiful construction. Um, it's got your typical combs inside and the strap at the back. And the package was quite nice. You know, it came in a decent box. It also came with a like a silky bag, your typical wig cap, also like a strap hairband to lay down the hair, which I can't find at the moment, so I'm gonna be get out and just use my headscarf. Um, but yeah, so this was bleach blonde, yeah, and I was craving, I mean craving for blue hair. So the girl went blue. Now the hair dye that I use is always a door hair dye, and I use royal navy and a little bit of indigo blue but i don't know why i find it anyway that i use the water dye method which i think is just the easiest method to use for some reason the lace or the closure doesn't take as easily as the rest of the hair i'm not a hair expert yet but this is what i've experienced so i did have to dip the hair in quite a few times to try and match the lace closure with that the rest of the hair you probably can see like different shades of blue as well but girl this blue this hair literally just gives me life so i'm gonna slap this on if i've got my stuff with me i'm gonna slap this on do a little something something and we're just gonna go all blue out that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna go all blue out so let me get my stuff together and lay this down and then i am going to pretty much style it at the end of the bit y'all that's what i'm gonna do so let me lay down my ear and all need a mirror and all it's obviously a middle part because it's a four by four so should really rock a middle part but to be honest i don't want to like i go through my phases one minute i like middle parts and the next minute i don't so yeah like me it's doing a side part baby I would blow dry down my hair, but me ain't got time for that and I'm not going nowhere. So I'm just not gonna even do that today. Usually I don't even lay down my wigs when I film. I'm not gonna lie, but I am gonna do it today. Just a little piece. So if my lace is showing, popping up, don't judge me because I'm in my house and I'm just gonna rip this off and take off this makeup after I finish filming, so please don't judge me no can anyone have chat for me about this blue hair though can, are you okay can anyone have chat for me with this blue hair
going to use a little bit of my Fenty powder just to help with the blending and the melting so the lace don't look too visible for my likings. You get me that? So we've got the Age of Opulence palette from Beauty Bay. I think I'm gonna do my eyes first because I wanna try and film another video and I'm kinda of running out of time so I don't wanna over, like get overwhelmed with filming because I'm still trying to get used to like filming. So the main focus is gonna do, the main focus of the video is gonna be the eyes and I think I will do my face either off camera or do like a speed through. But this is the age of opulence right here. So I really love like these Beauty Bay palettes, especially in these kind of like compact. I just love all the Beauty Bay palettes in this version. So I think it's 20 shades. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow, is this what it looks like? See, I can't remember, you know. Okay. Hold on. So I'm showing you the palette using natural daylight. I dimmed down my extra little lighting that I had on. But this is the palette. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but if you love these blues and purple tones, stunning, like just stunning. Now, now looking at it, I see why people say that it looks a little bit like the Book of Magic one. You're not necessarily side by side, but hopefully I can fit this in the frame. So the top one is the Book of Magic, and the bottom one is the Age of Opulence. Definitely see a similarity in terms of the mixtures of blues, purples, and a slight um, selection of neutral tones. I guess you just get different undertones of blues and purples in this palette. So really and truly, if you don't have the Book of Magic, and you really like that story, you can get the Age Opulence one. It might not be exactly the same, but the similarities are definitely there. Focus, God damn it! It's been a long time since I've done swatches here, yeah, so. But this is the whole entire palette. Personally, when I do swatch palettes, it's more just to see what the shades are like, because you know sometimes the shades in a pan is not what it could be when you apply it on your skin. I'm not gonna lie, this palette is actually really, really nice. So, I think today I'm gonna do one eye on camera, the other eye off camera. Um, so I'm gonna prime my eyes first. I am gonna use my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer Base. I've actually really been enjoying this eye primer base. Didn't think I would. I didn't think it was gonna be anything special, but for me, considering that I do have a lot of like folds, on my eyelids and they do get oily um i actually like how it prevents the oils and the creasing longer so i do use a little bit of that actually this is my go-to primer from revolution the ultimate eye base in the shade medium okay so we're gonna play some blues obviously need to match the blue hair because we're feeling blue um <laughs> my problem is i actually don't know what i want to do <laughs> Oh, child, what do I actually want to do? The struggle is real. I may not even have my brushes there, my warm. So take two. So now we've got some takedown. Going back in that shade, Curfew. And I'm gonna sand it. Like I don't know. This is a really nice blue, but I am going to add a little bit of the blue down the bottom called a Lavish. Just to lighten it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. This actually matches my hair very, very nicely. Now the hardest part for me is to now do that sitting. <laughs> you know when you're um, connect line to that line there? I haven't done that before, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm at all, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get an angle brush, eh? and I'm gonna try to do a little something, something. Oh my god, I'm shaking so much. Okay, go on with my bad self. <clears throat> now, who do I think I am, please? Now, who's giving me this energy? Someone's giving me a lot of energy today and I'm feeling it. A nice little small taper brush. Go back in that shade Lavish, which is this blue shade down here. 
and go over it just to create some dimension which you guys are probably not going to see but I can see it so what's this called again is it called a graphic liner I'm making it up <laughs> am I making it up now I am tempted to add a little bit of purple just because I don't know it's just I feel like I just want to be extra but I don't know where I'm gonna put this purple yeah I'm gonna add a little bit of flapper <laughs> flapper which is this one here in terms of the quality of this palette though it's actually really nice considering that I'm stamping, swiping, patting, packing like there's literally no fallout on my face whatsoever it's so pigmented as well so which I'm not surprised because Beauty Bay just got it down I don't know what they put in their palettes for the life of me I always say it but I actually don't know what they put in their palette so I'm definitely gonna put like what's it called again? <laughs> a shimmer Shim Shimmer. I'm gonna use the shade Jazz, which is this shade here. It's gonna. <laughs> the anxiety is real, Jaja. Okay, okay. Shimmer, shimmer. Wait, hold on. Can I use big mirror today? Right, so this is the eye semi done. I don't know how I feel about it yet because this is something that I've never done before. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of foundation powder around here um, and I think once I do my face and add my lashes I'll feel better so let me do that let me apply some base now so I'm gonna use my NYX a Born to Glow foundation in the shade Coco Because I've got like this dramatic eye and this heavy like graphic liner, whatever it is, I feel like I want to go for like a bright under eye, which I don't really tend to do as often. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Bonus Way Concealer, but this is in the shade Butterscotch. Yeah, for cream bronzing, I'm going to use the last little bit of my Made by Mitchell bronzer or blush bronzer in the shade shade and laid whoa <laughs> wow yeah i'm not used to this bright on the eye no more boy jesus add a little bit of a cream blush as well once again made by mitchell in the shade a shy boy I'm gonna set my under eye now with a little bit of my black opal powder in the shade neutral lights I don't really tend to set my nose on my forehead because I am normal to dry but I just brush like the rest of the excess powder over there then we've got to set the bronzer so I am gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer um, in the shade Deep Four. So I'm actually not gonna set my blush with a powder brush because I don't want to, I can't be bothered. And to be honest, that blush or blush from Made by Mitchell, it dries down to like a nice matte formula. So you don't really need to, <laughs> you know. My battery is about to die and I do want to finish the rest of my eyes with you guys. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color on my lower lash line i'm just gonna go in the same color actually the lavish one and just trace it on my lower lash line i personally don't like to drag my eyeshadow from corner to corner because the shape of my eyes i feel like it closes my eye a little bit more and i don't know i just don't like the look of it so i'm going three quarters of the way and i'm just gonna add like more of a lighter shade just to open my eyes a little bit I think I'm going to use RSVP, hopefully this is not too stark, you know, because I don't want to mess this up. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, this will do. Okay, so it's going to start to get a little bit darker now because obviously it's winter and the sun goes away by like 3 o'clock. 
so please excuse the lighting situation this hair is so nice the texture is so soft hardly any shedding as well um probably like maybe three or four strands on my comb so i'm gonna do like pretty much that like body wave type of look so i'm gonna go quiet listen to some jams whilst i do my hair so we can get down to the finishing glam Okay, so this is the hair curled. So I'm gonna flip my hair and you know, do that head shaking thingy. <laughs> okay, volume. Okay. Can anyone have chat for me to. No, the hair, the color is just giving me a life, girl. But yeah, this is the hair the length. I am. Five foot three, and it reaches down to here. Probably don't even look that good from the back, but girl, you know I'm trying to. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so let me get a lip combo. I'll probably change my shirt, look a little bit cute, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So this is the final and completed look, and I must say, I think the graphic liner's kind of growing on me. Could be going crazy, but this blue hair though, this hair though. Listen, just want to shout out to Yolova Hair once again for sending me this unit. I am so appreciative. You know, I love my wigs, I love a bit of colour, and this has definitely just sorted out my craving of getting blue hair. The texture is beautiful, it's really, really nice, and it does hold the curls really nicely as well, considering it's quite fresh as in like I just washed it, if that makes sense um, fair enough I didn't lay it down proper proper but you guys get the jits hardly any shedding didn't experience much shedding when I dyed it I did experience shedding when I did you know pluck the closure which is pretty much standard but apart from that I don't have no complaints it fits my head really nice and securely and yeah so I will definitely leave all the details in the description box below if you are interested of checking out this unit um, but overall sis like this hair sis this color though is a little bit of me but speaking about color and doing a whole blue theme something a little bit different for me doing a graphic liner and I know I didn't use as much colors and shades in this palette that I usually do when testing out a new eyeshadow palette especially the fact that these formulas are consistent in these palettes I pretty much had an idea that I would love it uh, the formulas in this palette are just amazing the mattes are pigmented hardly any fallout I think I didn't experience any fallout to be fair the shimmer shades I would probably say that they're not as foiled as the other book of magic one this is from the top of my memory but they're still very like shimmery like you can't go wrong with that formula so but yeah guys that is pretty much the end of the video um i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you do subscribe and put your post notifications onto all because youtube likes to take it off or unsubscribe people and i am coming back full force in 2022 so make sure you give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye and boom that pun it you like Big up my sisters